All right, what is going on, Banjo fam? Welcome into today's edition of In The Game. I am your host, Hustle, and today we will be diving into the crypto gaming markets, and I kind of want to go over a little bit of my philosophy on this dip that we're taking right now. I do foresee that we're on the way down once again after this recent pump. That is just of my opinion, of course, not financial advice, but I'm going to give you my full-blown playbook right now for the way that I'm playing the market and reasons that I'm willing to begin DCAing into some of the top projects that I believe do have that runway to survive the bear market and come out as clear winners on the other side. So without further ado, let's get in the game. T-minus 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you ain't here to hustle, why is you here? If you hit a hustle, the moon is near. It's crypto bent and not financial advice. If you don't listen, what's the cost? What's the price? This ain't a game, put you on game. I know you don't play, but eat a percent. If you ain't here to hustle, why is you here? But if you hit a hustle, the moon is near. It's crypto bent and not financial advice. If you don't listen, what's the cost? What's the all right, and let's dive right into it and be sure to drop down and hit the like button if you enjoy the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel for everyday cryptocurrency content right here on Crypto Banter. So let's dive right into it today as we're looking at my bear market gaming watch list right now. And we have a lot of projects from Ethereum to Solana, from the blockchains like Immutable X and Polygon, which are really going to be powering the future of gaming, the Ultras, the Vulcan Forge, and a couple of low cap games once we start getting into the nitty gritty. But that's not what I'm starting to DCA into at this point in time in the markets. I'm really starting to look at those top protocols, especially on this specific dip. After this pump that we just had, I'm really looking at some of those longer term plays, the ones that will survive this bear market, right? So we know that these projects like Polygon, Avalanche, Ethereum with the merge upcoming, I would say Sandbox, Gala, these are pretty good bets to survive this bear market. And I would have to say uh, that those are some that I'm willing to accumulate in these types of times. But I want to go through some of my top accumulation coins right now because I'm starting to become a little bit bullish on where the valuations are and where the price opportunity is for some of these projects. And let's start with Gala. There's a couple of key kickers here. Obviously, Gala, their game portfolio is so widespread. I've preached this over and over again. And I think that as far as, you know, conviction goes gala is near the top of the list if not the top of the list for ones to make it out of this bear market and much stronger on the other side about 14 games listed on their platform now they've recently shown gameplay for last expedition which looks fantastic you have grit going on the epic game store so when you look at where the price is right now at five cents and you know all we have to base it on unfortunately is previous all-time highs will we see 70 cents again at a at this valuation, who knows? But if we were to, that is a 14X from here. Even if we did half of that, that is a 7X from the 5 cent mark. And I see Gala being a major player in this gaming industry for years to come. And if you're looking at studios across the blockchain at this very moment, Gala is basically the Activision or the, you know, the Riot Games, the Epic Games of the blockchain at this point, founded by you know co-founders of Zynga. So I think when you look at the full scope, the film, the music, the games, they're really spanning out into entertainment. I think Gala is like buying the Web3 version of Activision at this very moment in time. If you have that long-term approach, right? Uh, I am not the type to swing trade. I am not the type for a quick entry and exit. That is not really my way to go about the markets. I like to accumulate tokens like Gala that I believe in over the long haul. And with them also halving, they halved their node rewards, which is huge. So they just had their own halving process where the founder nodes are going to generate half the yield that they previously did. All of this factors into me being very, very bullish on the future of Gala Games, especially at the price and especially, more importantly, judge it off the market cap and not the price and where the market cap is currently. I'm definitely confident to pick some Gala up as well as Ultra. So Ultra, 
has taken a big fall as a lot have. We were up at two dollars and forty four cents back in the you know the heat of the of the bull market. But this is one of the projects that is doubling and tripling down in the bear market. In the bull market, they rolled out their full-blown roadmap, which showed that they were going to launch their exclusive FPS. And then the bear market hit, right? And a lot of projects we will see not come out on the other side with a product. Ultra is doubling and tripling down. Their co-founders and co-CEOs have worked in the business for 20 years combined before coming to Ultra. So when you look at the experience behind the team, top-tier partners from Atari, AMD, and more, when you look at what they're doing here, this is a screenshot of their exclusive FPS. And if they really do become the steam of the blockchain with all the publishers and the producers that are working behind the scenes and launching games on Ultra, this could be potentially one of the biggest gainers whenever we do come out on the other side, sitting at a $100 million market cap and is about 7x or so off of all-time highs. I think that when you're looking at Ultra, it is the clear-cut favorite to be the steam of crypto gaming, kind of alongside what Gala Games and Vulcan Forge are doing. Now, Vulcan Forge is now under a $100 million market cap. It's really getting in those juicy valuation territories. Considering what they're doing, they just came out with their node system and their very own exclusive blockchain, the Elysium blockchain. And when you're looking at every you know, facet of Vulcan Forge that really lines up. A lot of the things are lining up with what Gal is doing. You know, they have 10 plus games. They have a node ecosystem. They even just came out. Uh, so yeah, as you see their whole ecosystem here, their games, etc. They also just recently came out with their GSP stablecoin. Now, this is going to be interesting because this is the stablecoin which kind of powers their ecosystem in a way. It's the stablecoin of the ecosystem, backed by the same amount in grams of gold, silver, and platinum, protected and validated by proof of reserve protocol, and is redeemable for real gold, silver, and platinum. Now, this is really interesting and something I'll be keeping my eyes on, especially as a participant and a big fan of what the guys at Vulcan Forge are putting together from this entire ecosystem. So really looking forward to the integrations of the GSP stablecoin here. Uh, as you see, gold, silver, platinum, GSP. That's going to be very interesting to monitor. And, you know, it's not an algorithmic stablecoin. It is backed by something truly. And Vulcan Forge, most of the time, when Jamie and the guys behind Vulcan Forge say they're going to do something or bring something to market, it really, you know, they, they execute. So it's a team, I always say, bet on people, not promises. So always vet the teams and the people behind this. Can they deliver what they've banked on? Absolutely. And they are delivering, as you see. They have 10 plus games live, full gaming marketplace. And now with the Elysium blockchain, we'll really see where this goes in the future. And let's go back to the Minecraft ban. We talked about this last week on the show. Minecraft banned NFTs, right? Well, when we're looking at the sandbox, that has to be the clear winner here out of that news. As we know, the sandbox is probably the leading metaverse at this point in time. And when you look at everything they're doing with their partnerships, the graphics, for example, are literally exactly like Minecraft. This is the Minecraft of Web3 with NFT asset ownerships. Their partners, obviously, notoriously Snoop Dogg, Adidas, as you have the Smurfs, Hell's Kitchen, Dead Mouse, Atari, Care Bears, Animoca Brands is their lead backer, as it's a, sub a subsidiary of Animoca Brands. So when you look at everything they're doing, and then Yatsu, you know, hypocritical and nfts are an inclusive technology to implement as he was talking about the minecraft ban and that is exactly what sandbox is providing and let me make it clear um you know do i think that the sandbox is the most cutting edge metaverse game that has ever hit the blockchain no not necessarily i i, I don't think that the game per se is the future of the metaverse. I think eventually the metaverse will move truly VR, AR, that type of experience uh, where you're putting on the headset and you're really diving into this different altering experience that takes you out of reality. And I don't get that feel with anything that's out right now. So I'm not saying that the sandbox is about to be the king of the metaverse for the next decades to come. But as far as a short to midterm benefactor, and depending on what you consider long term, is long term a couple of years to you or one plus year? Like, what would you call long term? Depending on that, I would say short to midterm, Sandbox will be the leading benefactor 
from Minecraft stiff arming NFTs. So definitely as far as the next couple of years go, I would see that this has a lot of runway for growth in that time period. While the metaverse evolves, more companies like Meta come into the metaverse and start, you know, pumping more news into the market. We haven't had that metaverse kicker since, I don't know, January or or December when a couple of these big corporations were announcing some metaverse integrations, there will be the Amazon announcements. There will be Apple, Microsoft, all these companies will eventually announce their metaverse plans. And when they do, it could send us into another meta situation when not only the first mover comes into the metaverse, but when the mass adoption hits the metaverse. And we all know if you're if you're here watching this video and watching this channel and watching in the game, you probably believe just like I do that metaverse and NFTs and NFT gaming, this technology is here for decades to come. I truly believe that. And if you believe that the metaverse will be the next iteration of social media, it is always nice to have some sandbox in your bags if you are willing to accumulate during these times when the market is heading south. So when you look at a couple other protocols that I definitely have my eyes on, that I would like to see the valuations drop a little bit. Immutable X, I would like to see it dip a little bit more before I would be comfortable buying into the fully diluted here. As the diluted, always look at the fully diluted. Do your research on the tokenomics and the unlocks. Tokenomics are so important in crypto and people don't you know, harp on that enough. So research on the unlock schedule know when the time are to accumulate this token it is still about seven to eight x above uh valuation from diluted to market cap normal market cap to diluted market cap always pay attention to that so in my opinion i'm waiting for imx to dip even more and that valuation to come down for me to comfortably dca into it i would also like to see polygon off the Disney news, off of that big news that they just released with their new ZK uh, program, with their uh, first of a kind technology that they're coming out with. I think that I'll let Polygon play its role, you know, kind of dip after that announcement. And then I'm really looking to accumulate Polygon with Ryan Wyatt at the helm from YouTube Gaming, Dr. Disrespect's coming uh, game coming to the platform, Sandbox migrating their assets. I think there's just so much going on behind the scenes with Polygon that it's hard to resist. And one that's not getting a lot of love that I'll definitely look to accumulate at some point is Avalanche. And Avalanche, they had their wave of announcements and games. Yeah, I would f it was after the bull run, you know, in in the springtime they were announcing their subnets coming to DeFi Kingdoms in Krabata. And then Shrapnel announced AAA first person shooter. They had a massive mobile gaming studio come over. And I believe the game is uh Castle Crush that they are first launching. It's an existing game that's coming over to the blockchain. These are all integrated on avalanche or its subnets so a subnet of avalanche i do think they're here to stay and when this comes down a little further as well on this respective dip that we are having in the markets right now i'll be looking to accumulate most of these tokens and add to my bags long term as we just saw ethereum drop under 1500 here uh bitcoin's at about 21.7 so where the market is right now I'm watching very closely. And I think if we keep taking a dip, this will be that dip where I really do begin heavier accumulations into the projects that I do believe in. I think that it's getting to that territory and the valuations, more importantly, the valuations, guys, price can dip so much, you know, and if we're in a bear market for a long time, sure. The market cap will get decimated as well. But always look at if the token's still overvalued based on what they're delivering, for example, like the whole infrastructure of the project. Price is not everything in crypto. So when you're looking at the valuations, I think that's much more important long term to be able to judge, you know, what valuation are you comfortable buying into some of these protocols, especially knowing and trying to bank on the ones that will make it out on the other side. These are some of my top projects with Gal. Ultra, Vulcan Forge, the Sandbox, and then the projects like Polygon, Avalanche. I would say Solana goes into that bill, Immutable X. These are ones I'm really looking at to accumulate in these down times. And I'm really looking forward to taking small nibbles into these projects for years to come as far as the adoption. And when the market comes back, we all think, and if once again, if you're watching this show, you probably believe in the conviction behind metaverse and crypto gaming. I see this being as one of the highest growth sectors when we come out on the other side. And I'm going to have 
my positions loaded whenever we get to that time period. So be sure to like the video if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel for crypto, uh, crypto videos here every single day across charting, fundamentals, DeFi, and crypto gaming. I'll be back tomorrow with another video, guys. As always, play well, my friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs>